Hey guys, we're finally on our way home from Enchanted Kingdom. Whoa! Nasiraan tayo. Okay, now I got a key. Hey. hey, it's open. Let's go, yeah, let's go, let's go. Oh, look at that. Check it out. Yo, you're knocking on the door first. Come on. Go. We've been expecting you. You good? Yeah. Feel better? Hey, thank you guys. Sorry to bother you. Uh, it's no so. problem. Yeah, no problem. Sure. What's wrong? Okay. Yeah, just yeah, I just feel a bit weird. Okay. Weird. Mm hmm. Hmm. I think we should take a seat. Uh, take a seat. Um, we came in, so why not? Okay, sure. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, I'm Peachy. And I'm Ryan. And we are Spirit Questers. Okay, so I guess we can start with what you were feeling yeah. earlier. Um. It was kind of a bit of a heavy feeling when I was walking past, so I kind of sensed there was something going on. Well, there's a bit of history to this area of the house. That um, woodwork over there used to be part of Peachy's ancestral oh. house, father's side. I think they demolished the house, but they wanted to keep this as a, as a keepsake. Okay. So when they loaded it into the car, suddenly. suddenly the car wouldn't start. They couldn't leave the place. And it was a new yeah. car back then. My mom was in. You know, there's something about that board you should have asked permission first. And then my dad went inside the house and I think they talked to some spirits or entities or maybe asked permission. But when he went out, uh, he was able to start the car. What? This area of the house at night, I always feel that when I, when I come home, I come home late. It always feels like there are spirits who stay here now. How did you guys start then as spirit questers? When I was in college, Tony Perez, the head of the Spirit Questers, the guy who founded the Spirit Questers, was my professor in an art subject. And I just signed up. I, I, I went to one of their um, workshops and then started training with them. Since Ever since I was a kid, I was open. And then I was 15. And then I really went out of my body. And I was sleeping and I was having a hard time going back. And I was like screaming and my mom beside me can't hear me. I'm like, okay, I, I think I gotta find something to anchor on or like a group or whatever. Someone who could answer my questions. And I really like the, you know, in the end, the feeling of being able to help both the living and the dead. You smile. It's a short film that led into our same day video the wedding itself. You know, the entity there was kind of based on a true story. Loosely based on um, an event in my past where one of my exes uh, died a couple of years after she passed away. Suddenly one of the questions uh, says, um, Ryan, there's someone behind you. He started describing the entity behind me. She wants to tell you something. Last year that, that that fell from my eye before I died is for you. We broke up before it did, before she died. So it was also mad at her that I didn't visit her in the hospital. Someone from my past who was haunting me. That's where we kind of built the film around. There's something I really have to ask now because we, there's, we're in the age where it's all Hollywood and exaggeration mm -hmm. and then all those movies are with those haunted items and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Are there any haunted items you guys possess or own or would you say keep for memory's sake? Not necessarily food? haunted mm -hmm. but uh, what we call my laman or something ah. is inside it. It's a doll. <laughs> We've been keeping it since the, I think, 50s, 40s. I feel like, like she's really scary, watching yeah. me or there's something like she's talking to me in that sense even she though is. they're really yeah, she I know. does. I know. <laughs> so there's something there's something in it? Or there is yes. something in it? Like we we believe that everything that has a human form can house a spirit or an elemental, like mm -hmm. those behind you. So once again, thank you both for your time and of course allowing her to pee. 
Yeah. Woo! Yeah. 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 Inviting us to your house and spending your time explaining your your passions and with us, it's been and I think amazing. Opening our eyes in more mm -hmm. than one. Yes. Way. And, and everyone else's eyes, and they're going to yeah. be watching. So. Thank that you. kind of eye. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. You know what, Vince? I think we were meant to like end up at that house. You know, like Halloween's coming up and there's spirits everywhere and stuff. I'm still, whoa, I'm still shocked by it. But yeah. it was amazing because we were sleepy a while ago. Now I'm wide awake. I and, like, know. Re like real life <laughs> Ghostbusters. It really yeah. was. So I have to ask, you know, what was your most spooky experience? Um, I fell asleep in a, apparently a haunted place. It was actually one of our houses and this... I felt like I got possessed. Wait, Actually. time out, time out. You got possessed? It, it feels like I did because... Okay, if, if you got possessed, how do I know I'm with the real Kelly right now? <laughs> Guys, we gotta make sure about this off camera. <laughs> oh! <laughs> That's a funny one! <laughs> <laughs> This has been like one of the longest days I've ever had. <laughs> it's crazy. It went from like magical creatures to like spooky spirit creatures. Yeah, it was a, it's a crazy experience. I yeah. mean, we went from Enchanted Kingdom to another exciting experience to a spooky experience. Yeah. But I think it's finally time to go home. <laughs> yeah, so we can finally get some sleep. All right, this has been Vince Velasco. This has been Kelly Day. And this is Solar School. Ooh, ha, ooh. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no,